Napakalaking sakripisyo bang gagawin niyo sa buhay? Kung sa tamang panahon ay ni-renounce na ninyo ang pagiging Amerikano niyo, Mr. Lopez? Alam niyo po, um, can, you, can you hear me? Opo. Okay. Alam niyo po, it has never been an issue during my 68 years of living in this world that I was a dual citizen. In my mind, I've always been a Filipino. So it is only now that the technicality of being a dual citizen is being raised against ABS-CBN po. But really, why, why should I even think about it when all my life I have considered myself a Filipino? I grew up in the Philippines. I went to school here. I pay my taxes here. I vote here. I've done everything in the Philippines. The, 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 uh, my being a U.S. citizen is strictly a consequence of my father's going to school in America. So why should uh, an accident of nature be a defining issue about whether I'm a Filipino or not? Shouldn't it be based on my actions and what I have done? Walang galang na po, Mr. Lopez. Pwede ba naming hilingin sa inyo na i-recite ninyo yung unang linya ng panatang makabayan? Congressman Sarate, eh, baka gusto mo ng tulungan. <laughs> I take exception to the uh, side comments of uh, Congressman Marcoleta. Baka lang okay. gusto niyo pong tulungan. I have my own time. Iniibig ko ang Pilipinas. Salamat po. Mr. Speaker, I move to strike the uh, statement of Mr. Um, um, uh, Comsec is, uh, is directed to strike out the uh, previous comment. Mr. Chair, may I reason why that statement should be stricken from the record? I Comsec simply ask asking. our colleague if he would like to help. I am not the one under interpolation, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> I have What my own speaking, Mr. Chair, Mr. later. Why would the uh, gentleman... First of all, I'd like to make up record nung tinanong ko po yung unang linya ng panatang makabayan, kinotes po nung abogado ni Mr. Lopez yung iniibig ko ang Pilipinas. Yung pong abogado ang nagbulong sa kanya. Pwede na po ba kong magpatuloy? Is that for the record? Is that for the record? Just for the record, uh, Mr. Chair. In the remote possibility that the Philippines declares war against the United States. Which side will you take? The flag of your birth or the flag of your parents? I'm a Filipino, Your Honor. I would take the side of the Philippines. You will take the side of the Philippines? Yes, Your Honor. Despite the fact on the assumption that the UN Embassy is hearing these proceedings, you will still state that you will side the Philippine flag. Tama Your, po Your Honor, they are very well aware of my dual citizenship. This is not a new fact. Citizenship nyo na nag-a-appear pag kayo po ay nasa Amerika, pag uh, Filipino channel po pinag-uusapan, kayo ba ay Filipino, American, or dual citizen? Dual citizen? I'm a dual citizen. Pero sa records po ng TFC sa Amerika, ano ho lumalabas? Kayo ba ay Amerikano o Pilipino? Uh, frankly, I, I, I don't recall... Uh, um, which, which, whether I'm even registered in TFC, no? So it, it would have to be, um, Ayo, would you know the answer to this particular question? Sabi, hindi ako involved sa TFC. Matagal na yung TFC. Uh, kanina sinabi nyo nga na kayo ay American citizen at uh, mumuboto kayo at lahat yan. Ngunit nahalata ko po, lahat po ng news feed ng ABS-CBN ay hindi ko sinasabi yan. Ang sinasabi ko yun, you are Filipino citizen. Wala hong sinasabi na kayo po ay American citizen. Ito ba ho ay kasama sa propaganda ng ABS-CBN para ho sa isipan ng tao maitanim na kayo po ay Pilipino at hindi wala ho kayong pagkabanyaga sa inyong pagkatao? I beg to disagree, Congressman Regulia, to your insinuation that what ABS-CBN news does is propaganda. Uh, uh, ang tinatanong ko po is, Attorney Bautista, di ba may sinabi siya doon na, di ba, di ba niya sinabi doon na wala siyang loyalty sa ibang bansa maliban sa Amerika? 
isn't that an, an, an affirmation? Hindi po. Under our laws, ang kailangan po ay express renunciation. Maliwanag po yun. Kahit na ano po yung sabihin ng ibang bayan na affirmation or oath, meron po tayo mga standards na kailangan na doon para maging express renunciation. At ito po ay hindi one of those. The ownership and management of mass media shall be limited to citizens of the Philippines or to corporations, cooperatives, or associations wholly owned and managed by such citizens. Wala hong nalagay dito as may be provided by law. Uh, just to be clear on this, Mr. Chairman. That's my point of order, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, Vice Chairman Remulia. Please continue, Attorney. Tama po yung sinabi ni Vice Chair Remulia. Pero wala rin pong nagsasabi na kailangan po eh, Filipino lang kayo to be an owner or a manager of mass media. At gaya po ng sinabi ko, wala po kami nahanap sa kaso o patas na pinagbabawal ang dual citizen na magkaroon ng interest as a manager or owner of a media company. Wala po talaga. Attorney Bautista, kababasa lang po ni Congressman Rimulia. At siguro po dahil sa napaka-liwanag naman po nitong provision na ito na sinasabing limitado lang sa Pilipino, hahanap ka pa ng ibang batas na mapupagkukuha. At sinabi na ngang Pilipino lang eh, iahalo mo pa yung ibang lahi. Naintindihan niyo po ba ito na ito'y saksaligang batas? Pinakamataas na uri ng batas na umiiral sa ating bansa. Sinabi pi Pilipino lang, purong-purong Pilipino. Pagkatapos maghahanap po kayo dito, nahahaluan po ninyo ng iba. Ewan ko po kung papahamin niyo, kahit po pabaligtad po ninyo yung basahin ito, alam po ba ninyo yung basic sa ating statutory construction? Today's a point of order. We may read the law. That is being asked, propounded, uh, the question being yes, propounded yes. to the gentleman. In Section 11, Article 16 of the 1987 Constitution, which is our Constitution, not America's, uh, states, I quote, The ownership and management of mass media shall be limited to citizens of the Philippines or to corporations, cooperatives, or associations wholly owned and managed by such citizens. Wala hong nalagay dito as may be provided by law. Uh, just to be clear on this, Mr. Chairman. I agree, Your Honor, that uh, citizenship should be earned and, and not inherited. I believe that the actions that I've carried out throughout my career as the chairman of ABS-CBN merit that I have uh, done everything I can for the Filipino. Um, there, there are many instances of this particular fact. Perhaps we can just relate one, one event. Um, Attorney Brosas, I believe, talked about the fact that when ABS-CBN was taken off the air, there were over 3 million Filipinos that no longer could receive any signal that allowed them to be informed about the issues that beset our country, in particular, the pandemic. Those 3 million Filipinos live in areas that are outlying areas. Hindi po yon in the rural areas. These are out in the, in, in, in the mountains. And these are places where we have put our signal in order to reach these Filipinos. Those signals that we put in these particular areas will not generate the kind of income that will allow you as a businessman to make an adequate return. We did it because we believe that the Filipino should be informed. And those are the people that are affected by the fact that the ABS-CBN has been closed. Hindi yan negosyo po. That was a decision that was made to extend our reach to the far reaches of the Filipino nation, even though we are not making money in doing it. 